Hello, my name is Maria Frisbee. I am a former Miss Pennsylvania 2004. And, uh, here you go. Here is my official Miss Pennsylvania crown. And, here is Today's show, I met uh, uh, the weatherman and the weathercaster, L. He's a sweetheart. Um, something I share with you, just some footage from meeting him. Talking right now was on the day show. That's me and the black group. Maria Frizz will be a former Miss Pennsylvania to Thank you very much. Okay. Now I'll share some more footage, and that says more NBC. Here we go. We're about to play that. Again, that's when I was on the Today Show and I met Elle from the Today Show. And that's me talking. I have on a black coat. I mean, there's no problems. Other than the fact that you're joined together. It was awesome meeting Elle. He's a wonderful person. He's a wonderful weathercaster. Okay, and I was um, a special guest at the Day of Prayer, National Day of Prayer, right there. And now we'll play that. I'm sorry. Then that's me talking on the Today Show. I mean, there's no, there's no talking to Al Gore. I am a lady in the black coat. Well, that's great. Well, congratulations for surviving. Thank you very much. Hopefully, I could get the next video up. We'll have to wait one second to see. Again, I was a special guest at the National Day of Prayer of the State Capitol, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And let's try that again. If it will play this time. I'm grateful to be here today and I thank the Lord for the space because this is a day. I suffer from a life-threatening illness called pancreatitis. In fact, I just got out of the hospital for it. I almost lost my 
Welcome back to my seat, to other senators and um, congressmen. Okay. And that just came on automatically. That's when I was on the Today Show, and I met Mr. Al Roker on the Today Show and the Caesar Day Show. And I am in the black coat. I am in the black coat. I'm the lady speaking to Al Roker first. And again, I'm in the black coat. That's me speaking right there. Well, you look pretty normal. I mean, there's no, there are no problems. Don't believe that. Other than other than the fact that you're joined together. I did survive the three mile island. Nuclear power. Near meltdown. And partial meltdown. It was really scary to be in Middletown then. Okay, let's see, uh, I will now share with you some more of the footage that was shot. Um, in New York on the Today Show outside, I met Mr. Al Roker um, of the NBC Today Show. You can see me waving. I'm in my black coat. That's me speaking to Mr. Alvaker. Other than the fact that you joined together. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, congratulations for surviving. Thank, right. you. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Okay. And I also was on Time Warner Cable's Day Go Show. Mm. It's uh, Dave Sweeney is the producer. And then it's called the uh, Dave Gold Show. So now we'll share that with you as well. And that's me sitting in the chair. 
and that's Dave Sweeney, and the other chair, and I am a co-host at that time. Who's the right? Dave Sweeney, but I do participate in this show. I'm calling the evening with Maria Freak. That's right, folks. You're watching the Dave Gold Show once again, Saturday night, 9.30 p.m., channel 57 slash 109, depending on whether you have RCN or Time Warner. So, you're here, you're with me, and we got another special guest. This is what keeps my show going. And also, we have a nice backdrop, but if you notice, there's a little bit of a missing element here with this. And that's because my cohort inside, Mr. Lee, got hungry, and he ate some of this. He's a nature freak. He's a vegetarian. And Mr. Lee, why did you eat part of the set? Pennsylvania to help the family members of victims killed on 9-11. That's excellent. 
I know I, I like to joke around on the show because I'm just a joker by nature, but I do take this stuff seriously. We did talk about this last year. Me and Mr. Lee had a live show, and we took live calls shortly after 9-11. So it's very good that you're coming on with this stuff. You're doing your personal stuff, but you're sharing some really important stuff with us also. Yes. So anything else you want to say to the audience before we take a little break and get you set to do your thing tonight, Maria? All I would like to say is that I am just glad to be back in New York. I mean, I was born in Brooklyn at Kings County Hospital, but it is just so good to be back in New York. That's awesome, folks. So we'll be right back with Maria Frisbee. And Mr. Lee, you better walk it in there, buddy, because I'm going to make you eat another plant. Hi. I'd first like to give my condolence to all the family members out there who lost loved ones on 9 11. I, write, I wrote a poem about 9-11 called It Happened One Day. I will now recite it for you. It happened one day. Our country is the USA. We have freedom in our country each and every day. The USA was attacked suddenly. It happened on 9-11 and caused us great grief. It happened all of a sudden that day. People went to work to earn their pay. Many employees came to work early that day. They had no idea what was about to take place. The employees at the Pentagon went to work, too. They weren't aware of what terrorists were about to do. The flight crew and passengers aboard airplanes were unaware that their airplanes were about to be used as weapons in the air. All of a sudden, the North Tower was hit. People in America and abroad were shocked out of their wits. A second airplane hit the South Tower next. We all felt fear and grief, and our hearts were vexed. The World Trade Center and Pentagon were both hit. Firemen, rescue personnel tried to save lives and never quit. Many firemen, policemen, and citizens lost their lives due to an act of terrorism by people filled with strife. God loves us all and expects us to love everybody too. Using airplanes as weapons is something God did not approve. We are to love each other each and every day. This includes loving everybody in the human race. Dear God, give us strength to succeed. We need the strength in our time of need. Show us how we can proceed. Help us, God. Help us, please. Show us how we can cope. Grant us wisdom and give us hope. 9-11 will always be on our minds. Protect our country in these dangerous times. Thank you. I will now do a song that was written by John Lennon, John Lennon specifically for 9-11, and it's called Imagine. Oh, perfection. 
not a singer, but I gave it my all in dedicating dedicating this song to the Don't think it's not okay victim. to come in at five a.m. in the morning. Uh, I don't mean to sound like an old grumpy woman, but I guess that's what I am. You know what my daughter did? My daughter came in at five a.m. in the morning. You know what she told me? She forgot the time. Forgot the time? Who can tell when the sun is setting when you've been out ten hours or so with that that so-called Jeremy kid, hoolum?
I knew that the family members would be devastated, especially after losing their loved ones prematurely. So I decided to have what's called family, family Day Out at the Park for the family members of victims killed on 9-11. And what I actually did, I actually contacted businesses in my community and I made flyers and I placed the flyers on bulletin boards in grocery stores. And then I start to receive uh, many contributions from businesses, churches, and individuals in the community who wanted to do something for the family members of victims killed on 9-11. So the family that I actually helped was the um, Clinton Davis's family. He was killed at the World Trade Center on 9-11 while on duty. Clinton Davis was a Port Authority police officer. He was dedicated to his job and he was a very nice man. Unfortunately, he lost his life on 9-11 at the World Trade Center. After I raised the funds that I needed, I contacted Six Flags Great Adventure Park and I shared with them how I had raised money to send the family members of victims killed on 9-11 to Six Flags Great Adventure Park for one day. They were happy, and what they did is they sent tickets to the Davis family so that they could spend their day at Six Flags Great Adventure Park. And at the same time, I contacted the Davis family. I spoke to Carolyn Winston Davis, and I expressed my condolence for the loss of her brother, Clinton Davis. And I told her how I was inspired to do something for the family members of victims killed on 9-11. She expressed her gratitude towards me for thinking of her family. And one other thing I did too, I wanted to make sure that all expenses were covered. So I actually sent a money order to Ms. Carolyn Winston Davis to cover their other expenses such as parking, gas, and food while at the park. So they wouldn't have to worry about spending anything. So that was pretty successful, and I now I'm going to share with you some of the other photos that I have of the former World Trade Center. Actually, I visited the World Trade Center many years ago. I actually went up there to the observation tower, and I'm going to now share with you some of the photos that I took. This first photo that I'm going to share with you, this is actually a picture of my sister, Air Brown, myself, and my stepbrother, Johnny standing on top of the south, standing on the roof of the south tower, and in the background, you can see the north tower with the antenna. It just looks like it's right behind us. Okay. And now the next photo that I'm I am in the center of the picture. I have one pink. Okay. This is another photo of the World Trade Center and actually the roof of the World Trade Center. Now this is another picture of my sister, my stepbrother, and myself standing on top of the South Tower. The picture listed below. I am the lady who is wearing pink. My sister is on the right, okay, and the my stepbrother Johnny is in the this center. This is actually my sister Era Brown standing in next to World Trade Center Five. It's my sister Era Brown standing in front of World Trade Center Five. Okay. And now I will continue with the pictures. Actually, this first photo here, this is a picture of many people on their way over to the Statue of Liberty. And if you look in the background, you can actually see the towers in the background. So that's people on the ferry. They are taking the ferry over to the, and the World Trade Center, not World Trade Center, but to the uh, Statue of Liberty. Of the World Trade Center again. In the background, actually I'm taking that picture while in the observation tower of the Empire State Building. Okay. And that will be it for now. Hello, I will now do some other poems for you. The first poem I'm going to do is a poem about John F. Kennedy Jr. Jr. Carolyn Bissett Kennedy and Lauren Bissett, and they were killed several years ago in an airplane crash. And this is a poem that I wrote called A Tragic End. I am a end. poet, and I know a it. A Tragic <laughs> End. 
It happened again and unexpectedly. We lost another world celebrity. John F. Kennedy Jr.'s life ended tragically. He, Carol and Bissette Kennedy, and Lauren Bissette departed this life over the sea. John was an inspiration to the young, old, and free. We remember him especially when he was three. The salute that he gave his father was a moment to behold. He captured the hearts of people worldwide with a salute worth gold. John F. Kennedy Jr. and his father were best friends. His father's life tragically came to an end. An assassin's bullet struck his father suddenly. John lost his father when he was three. John was a model citizen when he was alive. He tried to live as an ordinary citizen in this life. He attended college and law school and received his degree. He eventually passed his bar and became an attorney. He practiced law for a short time. His interest in journalism worked out fine. His magazine, George, was a success. John worked on his magazine and did his best. John F. Kennedy Jr. met and married Carolyn Bassett one day. His love for his wife, Carolyn, would never fade. He and his wife, Carolyn, departed this life together unexpectedly. Lauren Bassett, his sister-in-law, also died in this tragedy. As we mourn over the loss of John F. Kennedy, we also mourn over the loss of Lauren Bassett and Carolyn Kennedy. In this present life, we are reminded again and again that we are mortal, and someday our lives will end. Thank you. I will now do another poem that I wrote, and it's pertaining to all of the things going on in this earth today, the bad things that are taking place, and it's about people living on the streets, um, crime, gangs, drugs, children killing each other in schools, the Oklahoma City bombing, and I mean, any uh, any act of terrorism that has occurred in the United States. It's a very touching poem, and it's called, Jesus Teaches Us to Pray. I wrote this one several years ago. Jesus Teaches Us to Pray. Our world is such a beautiful place. It is filled with people of every race. As we look at the conditions of our world today, Jesus teaches us to pray. Look at that family walking down the street. They have no place to lay their heads, nor a morsel of food to eat. When we think of how blessed we are today, Jesus teaches us to pray. Crime, drugs, and gangs are rampant on the street. Many people are on drugs and still defeat. As we look what's going on in other countries in America today, Jesus teaches us to pray. Children are killing each other in school in the USA. Parents are wondering why the children are acting this way. As we hear of these school shootings more and more each day, Jesus teaches us to pray. Some people with different views are committing crimes today. The victims of the Oklahoma City bombing lost their lives due to hate. Jesus did not mean for this to be. He wants us to get on our knees and pray. Hatred is a brawl, and in the USA, some people hate each other because they are of another race. God wants us to love each other each and every day. We need to get on our knees and pray. Let's go back to the Bible and seek Jesus always. We need to pray for other countries and the USA. We all need to turn to Jesus before it's too late and Jesus teaches us to pray. Thank you. the Day Gold Show, and we've been having a great time tonight with uh, Maria Frisbee. Maria, you were fantastic on the Day Gold Show. That's why I get right, written up in the Daily News as one of the most notable shows on cable access, because I get people like Maria Frisbee on my show. So, Maria, thank you so much for being on the Day Gold Show. Thank you, too, Dave. It was fun being on the show. Yeah, so, you know, Maria is multi-talented. Mr. Lee's in there, he's much like talented, but we want to see that background, Mr. Lee, the uh, chroma key background. You've got it on three. Hit ultimate. There you go. Yeah, What's wrong with you, Mr. Great. Lee? Come on. So anyway, we're almost done tonight, and Maria, you were doing a lot of different things. You were like uh, doing poetry, you were doing a sketch comedy you made for yourself, you sang a beautiful song, you got a beautiful voice. 
Thank you so much. What can't you do? Oh, my. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got a few minutes left to talk to the folks, to tell them goodbye, and and uh, they're going to be seeing where, where they can contact you in a second. And I'll tell you, you can come on any time because you had a lot of material, and that's what I like, performers who come in with all their different things to do and was throwing up a full show. Oh, You're making it easy for me. I'm a lazy guy. What can I say? <laughs> because of my great guest, Maria Frisbee, and Mr. Lee in the control room. He's digested that plant. Mr. Lee is about to give us the credits. Anything else you want to give us, Mr. Lee, besides grief? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think grief is enough. Thank you. All right, Mr. Lee. So we got a few seconds left, and we are going to be seeing the Dave Gold Show every other week, as usual. Maria Frisbee. Anything else before we go today? I know you said it all already, but uh, we're just filling a few seconds here, so help me out here. Help me out. I'd just like to say that I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed being in New York City again, and I hope to come back soon. And what I would like to say to everybody is always love everyone. Stop the hate. That's a good good thought, folks. Good thought. And uh, you even love to hate Mr. Lee. <laughs> right, Mr. Lee? <laughs> Okay, Mr. Lee, why don't you run the credits and uh, we'll fade out, okay? We'll see you next time on the Dave Gold Show. Once again, you are watching the Dave Gold Show, the Daily News. Listen to me as one of the most notable shows on cable access. Believe it or not, I didn't believe it, but it happened. So I'm happy. I'm on channel 57, I'm channel 109, I have Maria Frisbee, Mr. Lee, Dave Gold, we got everyone here. There's Maria, what's your number? Your voicemail is what, Maria? My voicemail is erico 717 Email? My email is mariafrisbee1 at yahoo.com. And you can see me, Dave Gold Show at yahoo.com, 212-340-1295. Mr. Lee, take us away. Right. And we are going to play for another day. That's all I can say. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Good night, folks. Good night. Good night. Okay, so uh, this is Maria Frisbee, and I'm back. And um, oh, it's going to go back to that, so let me stop that right there because I already shared that with you. I will stop that now. And again, uh, this is Maria Frisbee, and again. I'm a former Ms. Pennsylvania 2004, and this is my uh, official go. Ms. Pennsylvania, oops, go. <laughs> this is my official round again. This is Maria Frisbee, um, a former Ms. Pennsylvania 2004 and a graduate of Penn State University. And I'm telling you all out there to love one another, as I mentioned in the show. So I hope that you enjoyed all of the events that I participated in and all of the shows that I participated in and I hope that you just enjoyed it and that you love one another as God commands. God bless you all. I love all of you with all of my heart, no matter what your race, nationality, or color of your skin. I love you dearly from my heart. God bless you. Not and all. Bye. If you'd like to contact me, you can contact me at Maria Frisbee nine six at gmail dot com. Again that's Maria Frisbee nine six at gmail dot com. And I am on the search engine. I'm on the Yahoo search engine. I'm on um the World News uh search engine. So um just um put in my name or put in my uh title and you can find any information on me, um such as videos, um uh news articles or whatever. Um I'm on the way. So again, God bless all of you, and I love you with all my heart. God bless you. Love one another. Please do that.